Hi, in this video we are going to see how to set up QuickBooks uh, for the desktop and then how to organize the chart of accounts for QuickBooks. So we have it installed on this uh, laptop so just click on this icon to open it up. Okay, here you know you can choose the second option. I'm ready to create my own company file. Express start and then company name East West College One Industry. Let me choose. You can see which one is the closest one general service based business. That's okay. <coughs> and company type corporation continue uh, province is Alberta create company file and it's going to take a while so here it is it has it has finished uh, creating the company file now we have these options um, we don't need uh, these things we will organize it while we organize the chart of accounts and then I'll click on this uh, start working so this is the main menu that we have so now we are here on the chart of accounts so here we have the chart of accounts here so click on chart of accounts so it's going to give you the whole list of accounts available on the chart so we don't have any cash account here which is our bank account so we can just click on anywhere uh, right click uh, new and then bank continue our bank account name is cash and save and close we don't have to do anything there so cash is there now let's see the other one term deposit we don't have any term deposit account so let's click any again uh, right click new and it's just a, an other asset account in and in this uh, list we don't have other asset so click on here other account type other current asset continue and then you can type in term deposit save and close so cash is there, term deposit is there, uh, accounts receivable is not here. So we need to add accounts receivable. Right click again, new and accounts receivable. So there is no accounts receivable in this list. So click on other account type and then accounts receivable. Continue, type in the let words accounts receivable. Save and close. So we have done those. Now let's see one. Now we are going to add a couple of uh, fixed asset accounts. The first one is building. We have buildings and improvement that we can just edit. Take that improvement off of uh, the name and save and close. And then we should have one accumulated depreciation of building account, which is a sub account of building. So just select it and then uh, new and uh, it's a fixed asset account other uh, fi fixed asset account sorry it's a fixed asset account continue and then accumulated depreciation of building and it's a sub account of buildings save and close let's say i would add one more fixed asset account which is computer equipment we don't have computer equipment set up already here so just uh, again right click new and fixed asset continue computer equipment save and close and we are going to add accumulated depreciation for computer equipment again it's a fixed asset account so continue name is accumulated depreciation of computer computer equipment and it's a sub account of computer equipment 
save and close so it's done you can add similarly the other accounts leasehold improvement furniture and equipment uh, all other fixed asset account except land land there is no accumulated depreciation inventory deposit and prepaid just add them as other asset now we are going to see how to add the liabilities account we don't have Accounts payable, we can just uh, edit it and uh, rename it as accounts payable control. We can rename this customer prepayments as accrued accounts payable. Okay, now let's add a couple of other payroll liability accounts CPP payable, EI payable, all these things. So just select this payroll liability account and then right click new other liability continue type in the name CPP CPP payable save and close let's add uh, EI payable again other account type other current liability continue EI payable save and close and one more income taxes payable new other account type other current liability income taxes Payable. This is related to the payroll. There is one more taxes payable account which is called corporate tax payable. So that's the, for the business. We can add it as other, but not in the payroll. Uh, it's not a payroll liability. So cl click on this uh, GST, QST payable, and then new uh, other liability. <coughs> other liability continue. And we can, uh, the name of this is corporate taxes payable. This is the business taxes that is payable to CRA. So all these, uh, okay, so, so do, we have to add two more uh, accounts, shareholder loan and shareholder, lo shareholder loan, Arif Chaudhary and shareholder loan M. Laskar. So they are also uh, liabilities account so we can just uh, select any liability account uh, we can select any liability account and then right click new uh, other liability just type in the name shareholder loan arif Chaudhary. okay the other one is shareholder loan m laskar shareholder loan m laskar and then we can add the other uh, liability accounts like deferred revenue mortgage payable gst payable all these things as usually now let's look at shareholders equity accounts so we have to go to the equities section which is here uh, capital stock these are the equity accounts so you can just click uh, uh, you can just uh, edit this account as uh, common shares common shares and it's an equity account again you can add one more account new as preferred share click on equity continue preferred share Save and close. The retained earnings is there. We don't have to add. How about dividends? Dividends should be there too. Dividends paid. So just click, uh, take that, uh, that word paid off. Then it would be, it would be fine. Edit. And then just keep the dividend word there. Save and close. So